Typing is so ingrained in our everyday life, it's odd to think about how it came to be that way. The typewriter was invented in the mid-19th century. That's almost two centuries of typing ago. And while the world has evolved a great deal over the past 200 years, surprisingly little has changed in the way that we type. When typewriters were first introduced, keys were arranged in alphabetical order for ease of learning. This pattern indeed proved familiar, but the mechanics of the typewriter itself made things tricky. The keys of the most commonly used letters were crowded together. When typing quickly, the bars of the typewriter would get jammed, rendering the machine useless. A smart fix was needed, and along came the QWERTY layout. That's right, the layout with which most of us are familiar was popularized within decades of the typewriter's invention. Compare the keys on an 1882 typewriter with the touchscreen keyboard on your 2020 smartphone. On both, QWERTY will be the first six keys in the top row of letters. Soon after QWERTY was put in place, the formal finger placement and ranges of touch typing were defined. The ergonomics of touch typing became so popular that the home row positioning became the default way to type. Even today, most keyboards have raised ridges on the F and J keys, physical reference markers for navigating back to the home row without having to look. Even though it came about as a way to avoid typewriter jams, the QWERTY layout was such an effective solution that not much has changed about it since. Another aspect that hasn't changed much? The way that we measure typing skills. The metric we use to measure typing proficiency dates back just as long as typing itself. In the early days, your typing ability was tested and represented as a number of words per minute, or WPM. The faster you typed, the higher your WPM, but every mistake meant a 10-point deduction. It made for a relatively accurate way of testing skill level. Today, we have incredibly sophisticated tools to measure our typing ability, including digital, automated tools like the Type-C Mastery metric. With our advancements in technology, we can now measure progress much more precisely. The incredible advancements since those early days of typing have little to do with the keyboard itself. The innovation revolves around the technology attached. After all, once created, the typewriter's only real major redesign was at the beginning of the 20th century with the arrival of the electric typewriter. From that point, technological advancements snowballed quite quickly. The advent of machine computing spurred the keyboard's next great redesign. Early computer keyboards may have been clunky and loud, but they were absolutely revolutionary. Ever since then, keyboards haven't really ever stopped changing. They've slimmed up and shrunk down. Keyboards once bound by wires now exist untethered, popping up as needed, summoned by touch, on phones that fit in our pockets. Breakthroughs in technology have resulted in keyboards on which we type entirely with our thumbs. Advancements in neuroscience explain why this skill fails to transfer over to typing on a keyboard. But through it all, as the technical aspects of keyboarding evolved dramatically over the years, the core form and function remained steadfast. No matter how a US keyboard has looked, those first six keys on the top row of letters have been QWERTY. By the end of the 20th century, typing software was available, keyboard lessons delivered via video cassette tape or floppy disk. And while those formats may now be obsolete, as well as the machines needed to read them, the message of such lessons remains the same today. To master touch typing requires practice, consistency, and time. Luckily, Typing lessons from today aren't exactly the same as from those VCR days. As our machines and devices advanced, so too did our understanding of how best to teach the development of good typing skills. Thanks to continued advancement in technology, the arrival of the internet, gamification strategies, and innovations in the field of education, typing lessons today are more engaging, more encouraging, and more effective.